YouTube, we're back with another one. I'm here to educate y'all on my past experience with voltage issues uh, that range from batteries, the wires, and all sorts of different things that may affect your voltage. Now, if you have low voltage, there's a few problems that you may encounter. That may be the amps getting hot, going into protect mode, uh, wires are burning. There's a lot of stuff that can happen when you have low, low voltage. Now, what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you what I've been through, um, show you all the products that I've worked with before, uh, all the mistakes that I've made to get where I am now, so you don't make that same mistake. Now, the first point that I want to make here is that don't buy random lead acid batteries. Don't buy any random battery, matter of fact, because uh, more than likely you will regret that decision. Uh, lead acid batteries are fine for your everyday driving of your car. Once you start putting in aftermarket systems in the car, the lead acid batteries tend to fall off a lot because what happens is these batteries are not meant to take that much vibration and the constant draw of the, the amplifiers on the batteries also damage it. They're not made for those kind of situations. Okay, now we're on to AGM batteries. AGM batteries are much more suited for these kind of situations. They don't, they're not able to spill the acid that's actually inside the battery because it's contained. These batteries can be mounted in any direction. They have many different options of AGM batteries. As you can see, this is the optimal brand. They have the red and yellow top batteries. Um, People tend to throw either ones in their cars, but I'll let you know that the, the red battery is not necessarily a deep cycle battery, so it's not really designed for that constant draw. So I would suggest getting a yellow top battery if you're going Optima to get a yellow top and not just any random yellow top. Uh, you need one that is quite powerful one that provides like 900 cold cranking amps, such as this one that I'm putting on the screen now. This is the one that I was using specifically. This one gave a, a significant bump to my voltage. Um, I was able to keep up my voltage a little bit better when playing my car audio song. Now, if money is no object, this is the battery that I would highly recommend based on uh, previous experience. This battery has surprised us all with its performance. It has kept up the voltage the, the longest. So with a couple of these connected together in parallel in your car, uh, it'll be guaranteed you won't have that voltage issue no more. Now the next category that we're getting into is lithium batteries. This is by far the best uh, technology when it comes to batteries. This provides the most power for a longer period. Now, you may hear a lot of stories about the lithium batteries being very dangerous, meaning that they explode and so forth. Now, you don't necessarily have to be scared of the lithium batteries. What you gotta do is to make sure that you get over the safest option, which I believe is the headway cells. Now, this is a battery that I bought specifically from Battery Hookup. Uh, it came assembled just the way you're seeing it in the picture. Only problem is this battery came in 24 volts, so you may have to do some modifications to get it down to 12 volts. Once you're able to get the battery to 12 volts, it will work perfectly. This was able to keep my voltage to a steady 14.6 volts. Um, when the base note hits, uh, 
it drops down to relatively 13.9, 13.8. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's a pretty good battery. Okay, so now you've got the best batteries installed in your system. Now that means that you won't have any more voltage issues or you won't have any more dimming. Well, not quite. Seeing that you've now got the best batteries, now it's time to upgrade your wiring. Because there's many other factors that affect the, the voltage. Now, a lot of people tend to go with the cheapest wires they could find off eBay or Amazon. That's not actually a good option. Those are aluminum wires, which is an okay conductor, but you really need wires that are copper. These are the wires that I would recommend. These are the wires that I use myself. Now this wire, as you can see, is three odd, which means it's three times as big as a regular zero gauge. Now this can withstand 600 volts and 380 amps so this should be sufficient to run your car audio system now once you've got your wires the next thing to do is to get some copper lugs so that will enable a secure and safe connection to the batteries so you won't lose voltage from a, a loose connection or a bad conductor all these improvements that you've made today this should significantly reduce if not completely eliminate your voltage issues and you should be running at roughly around 14.6 with an upgraded alternator now again these are all products that I've used firsthand so I'm pretty inti intimate with all these products uh, this is why I'm able to make this video show you the best products that I have used and uh, all the mistakes that I have made before. Now if you found this video helpful, like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.